You can use anything at all that is liquid. Now, I'm going to try to make that point to you here. So you can use anything that's liquid, but you can also use 80% water, 20% gas. Now, if you used 80% water, 20% gas, what would that do to your gas mileage? That'd be four times right there. Now, I can actually modify it and get you four times on your gas mileage. And then you can use half gas and half and, and half water. What would that do to that? It'd give you eight times gas mileage. Okay, now, so it's going to be kind of interesting because we're going to go ahead and do something for you. We're going to show you that you can use anything in here, even 80% water, 20% gasoline. Now, let's just start out getting crazy here. Here's some Pepsi. Anybody drink this stuff? Any Pepsi drinkers? First hand up. Okay, go ahead and take a drink of that. Open him up and drink him real quick here. All right, open, yeah. Check it out. All right, now I'm not going to ask you if that's the real thing because that's Pepsi. That's not Coke, but. Okay, Pepsi? All right, that's Pepsi. Now you're in luck, brother, because we'll just pour some of that in and then Ricky will take that to you. And I think it's the law. If you use Pepsi, you've got to use Coca-Cola. I think that's the law. But anybody drink this stuff, Coca-Cola? All right, we've got to drink it right here. Okay, go ahead and just... Now, tell me if that's a real thing. That's a real thing? All right, that's a real thing. Let's put some Coke and some Pepsi in there. Now, next thing we're going to use is Frappuccino. Anybody here drink Frappuccino? Got a Frappuccino drinker all the way in the inside there. Tell you what, I'm going to loosen that. Just go ahead and pass it down to him. Let him try that real quick. Let's keep moving here, though. Take a little chug of that real quick and verify it. Pass him back to me. And then we'll get him back to you. Don't worry. See, it's good. sometimes it's good to have... Have a quick hand, a quick response. Now, the next thing we're going to use here, crude oil. Anybody drink this stuff? Crude oil. <laughs> no, no takers here, huh? <laughs> Thought we might have somebody from the Middle East or something that's just dedicated here. <laughs> All right, now we're just going to take some gunky old black yicky oil. You see that? We're going to dump that in there. Now, what would happen if you put that in your gas in your engine? Anybody know? Smoke like crazy, right? I mean, you look like a flat machine going down the road. Now, this is the exhaust here. We're going to exhaust it right in the room, and you're not going to see any oil coming out of this at all. Now, we'll also put some pickle juice in here. Oh! Man, pickle juice. Dill pickle juice. See, even I, oh, you even got a dill pickle in there. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Oh, man, that's the real deal there. Let's clump some barbecue sauce up in there. Make us a nice fuel. Look at that barbecue sauce. Kikoman soy sauce. So it'll work in Japan just as well as it will in America. It's nice to know. So the Oriental people, soy sauce. Oriental people, we can do it there as well. And you know, the kids love ketchup here. This is not Heinz, by the way. Okay, so we've got us some ketchup there. Get a good order of ketchup going. Some A1 steak sauce. I'll get the steak later. All right. Don't let me forget that, Ricky. We're going to go get a steak later. <laughs> and some red hot original red hot hot sauce oh yeah that's it hey that's the stuff right there red hot now I know that thing's going to run I'm not going to do that bam thing that Emerald does all the time but Whoop. now while this is running 
I'm going to put my face down in here, and you're not going to see me tearing, and you're not going to hear me coughing, but I'm going to be breathing all the fumes that are coming out of this to show you that there's no pollution here at all. So if I'm going to have my face down here, I want something that smells good on this thing, okay? This engine can have bad breath here. Put some Listerine in that guy. And just to make sure, I'm going to throw in a little bit of men and skin bracer aftershave that'll work i want that to smell good if my nose is going to be down there now has anyone in here ever put sugar in somebody else's gas tank i know you didn't put it in your own gas tank why what will happen if you put sugar in a gas tank does anybody know that's sugar It'll freeze it up right now, and you can throw that engine away. Let's make sure we get plenty of sugar in there. Now, I told you guys that I could run this on water and gas. So I'm next going to put in, as my last ingredient, a little bit of water. So we're going to put some water in here. Now, this is kind of unique water. This is Ricky water. That's Ricky right there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let Ricky put that in. That's not my end, that's... <laughs> hey, it's nice to know wherever you run out of gas, you can always get home. <laughs> now, wouldn't you say that we have just mixed up about the weirdest thing you could ever imagine you're going to run an engine on? What do you think? And we're going to see if we can start this engine and we can go with this engine here. There's a little bit of gasoline in the bottom, yes. I usually talk about that, but a little bit of it. You've got to have some hydrocarbon. All right, now, let's go ahead and start him up. Okay, now, it's running. It's running pretty good. It's not hot. This is because all the heat is going back into the engine. And if we look, there's no, there's no pollution here. No pollution. You can't do that on your engine. It'll be flat. short time and then what we'll do is we're going to run it on a little bit of gasoline and water. We got about 20% gasoline and 80% water. Oh, wow. So you see that portion, I'll drink this, this is water. <laughs> 